Hey crafters, welcome back to Tech Craft Craft Finals channel. It's so exciting having you part of our crafting community and we're so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be working on a craft for my son. He's recently learned to say the ABCs and so I want to take it a step further and work on some letter recognition. Because mealtime is one of the best times of the day that I have to connect with him, I want to make a placemat that has the alphabet laid out on it in vinyl. It'll look something like this. I got these clear placemats off of Amazon. They're super flexible and durable, which is great for toddlers and then I'm just using some of my tech craft craft vinyl and you really could use any color you could put any kind of design that you wanted on here whether you want to work on numbers colors shapes whatever that looks like for you we're going to be using some offset features in Cricut design space in order to create these letters with an outline shape and it'll just give us a fun opportunity to say hey can you move that chicken nugget to the letter C or can you move that broccoli to the letter B and great ways to make learning our letters super fun. So let's get crafting. So over in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to start with typing out the alphabet. I'm going to kind of estimate how many letters I think are going to end up on each row to create kind of a square or rectangle shape in the end. I'll have to play around with this a little bit just to try to even out the number of letters in each row so no row is extremely longer or shorter than any of the other ones. It takes a few times, but if you just keep at it, you'll eventually get it right where you want it. I'm then going to estimate how large I want the overall cut image to be based on the size of my placemat and how much room I want this to take up on the placemat. I'm then going to utilize the offset feature in Cricut Design Space to create a small offset around each of these letters. I'm going to choose a pretty small offset. I don't want too much space surrounding each of the letters. And then I'm going to use the slice function with both the offset and the original letters highlighted. And I'm going to delete these extra layers and I'm left with this really awesome outline. This next part will be dependent on your particular cutting machine. For me, I'm using a Cricut Joy. So I'm going to need to break up this image into multiple pieces. And I could duplicate and then use the contour feature to unhighlight several rows of each duplicated image. But a quicker way would be to take a box and slice it into the image, covering up several rows of letters that I want to just delete off so that I have two rows or just one single row to be able to cut at a time. I will then repeat this with my duplicated image, but cutting off the rows that I already have in the original image. Now I'm noticing that my second piece is still too large to cut, so I'm going to repeat this process by creating a single line with the M through Q line and making that its own separate. So I'll slice the M through Q and delete that off to give the R and the W rows their own image, and then repeat this process covering up the R row and the W row, slicing it off of the M row so that the M has its own separate image. And now I'm ready to cut. I'm going to be using the coconut white color from Tech Wrap. It's a really awesome matte white finish. And I think it's really going to help the letter stand out no matter where or what surface we place that place mat on. I'm now going to cut my vinyl down to size to fit onto my mat to cut each of these images. This is a pretty precarious process. You want to make sure that you measure twice and cut once or overestimate how much material you need. So you can always cut it down to size rather than cutting a piece that is too short for what you're looking for. I love how easy this vinyl is to work with. I think it cuts really cleanly and it's just super user and beginner friendly. Now with this vinyl, there is a protective film over top of the vinyl. So I'm gonna wanna make sure that I remove that before I cut it. Sometimes I like to go ahead and put it down on my mat, making sure that I get everything straight just the way it needs to be aligned. And then I'll go ahead and take off that protective film so that it's not cut with the vinyl because that would be really problematic to try to remove. I'll move each of these images to their own mat to make sure that I can cut on mat rather than one long piece of smart vinyl. Now, if you wanted to be extra creative with this, you could separate each row into its own individual image and cut it out of a different color piece of vinyl. I think that would be super fun and give a really great effect to this. I find that this vinyl from Tech Wrap cuts best on the premium vinyl setting with more pressure for my Cricut Joy. It gives it that great kiss cut effect where it's cutting just the vinyl but not the backing, but every machine is different and you'll want to figure out the right settings for your machine. I'll then load my mat into my machine and get ready for the cut. 
If you haven't already grabbed a second cutting mat for your crafting, I highly recommend it. It's great to have one mat being cut in your cutting machine while you're prepping your second mat. And then you can remove your first, feed in your second, do your weeding off of your first, get it prepped with your next bit of vinyl, and then feed that back in too. And I am so convinced that there is just nothing more satisfying than an easy to weed vinyl. It's just so satisfying and therapeutic, and even these interior pieces are so easy to pull up thanks to this great pen weeding tool that also comes from TechWrap, and it really makes quick work of doing all of the weeding for this project. I am loving the size of the outline we've created here with the offset feature. I think that this is the perfect size, and the overall size of the letters is also great too. The placemats have a dry erase surface to them, so this will work really well when my son starts handwriting of being able to have boundaries within each letter to trace with a marker and then be able to wipe it clean and do it all over again. So here I'm just going to be repeating the process of prepping each of my mats. I'm going to lay down my pieces of vinyl that are the size that I need based on the image that's being cut. I'll remove that protective layer and then place each mat into the cutting machine and then go through the weeding process. This is again so satisfying, it's so easy with this tech wrap craft vinyl. I'm loving the white color and this weeding pen just makes quick work of all of this. I have one last piece to go and then I am all ready for the transferring. Now for transferring these letters from the vinyl backing onto my placemat, I'm going to be utilizing some transfer tape from TechWrap. It's one of my favorite to work with. It has a great medium tack, meaning it's gonna hang onto my vinyl to pull it off of the backing, but it's not gonna hold onto it too strongly where when I go to place it on my placemat, the transfer tape is going to pull the vinyl back off of the placemat after it's already been set. I think that this TechWrap craft vinyl is so beginner friendly and so helpful to use. It also has really good visibility of being able to see through the transfer tape to see where I'm placing my image down. If you struggle to get the backing off of the transfer tape, I recommend utilizing a weeding tool just to pull up the transfer tape off of the backing. I really love using the squeegee tool from TechWrap. It really helps the vinyl to adhere to the transfer tape, making it a lot easier to pull the backing off and super cleanly to transfer my pieces. I'm going to go ahead and place my transfer tape over each of my pieces so that I can go ahead and visualize where I want them laid out and be able to get the spacing correct between my rows and aligning things well on my placemat. You can also utilize your squeegee tool whenever you're removing the backing from the vinyl. So as you're peeling the backing away, utilize that squeegee tool to apply some downward pressure. It will help the vinyl to adhere to the transfer tape and release it from the backing. You'll want to make sure that you're going nice and slow. Sometimes you'll notice that the backing isn't releasing and you'll just need to push down with the squeegee a little bit more firmly and making sure that each of the letters is coming off. The placemats have a protective layer to them, so I'm making sure that I'm removing that piece. And now I'm ready to begin placing down my letters. I'm going to give this a quick eyeball, make sure that everything looks straight, and then I'm going to be removing the transfer tape off of the vinyl as it sticks to the placemat. And now I'm just repeating the process with each of my other rows of letters, trying to make sure that I get the spacing even and the alignment correct as well. You'll see how easy it is for the transfer tape to release the vinyl now that it has a good adherence to the placemat. And it's now just this last final row of letters and we are almost complete with this project. As I'm finishing up this project, I'm thinking through what I can do with the rest of the placemats that came in this set, not just for toddler learning, but maybe I could put a recipe on one to give as a gift with some dish towels or other fun placemat designs. Now we're done. This craft has been so fun. It's so versatile. You really could turn this into anything that you wanted to. I've even got some extra space over here on the side where I'll add some numbers, some shapes, and some colors for recognition as well. This is also going to grow with my son. When we move beyond just letter recognition, we can move into handwriting as well. Each of these vinyl pieces, because they're outlines, they're going to give a nice set of boundaries for my son to be able to trace inside of. And then when he's ready for it, we actually could add a set 
set of letters over here on the side, but adhere them to the back in a mirrored fashion so that he can visualize where his pen should go, but there's no boundaries anymore and give another set of progression for the skills with this. It's been so much fun crafting with you all. If you give this a try, let us know what you make. Let us know what you add to your placemat and how your little one likes it.